What's up, my folks? I hope everyone is doing good. Y'all having a great day making these new dog houses. See, I'm taking a page out of my buddy's book from up north. He makes them like this. They're insulated out, and uh, they got a. Uh, what I've been using for my insulation, guys, is just using that meat packing. Like when the people, I guess they even use it for when they're ordered their groceries. You know, they line it with that inch and a half styrofoam. They make perfect panels for dog houses. All you gotta do is, you know, build your thing. And then on the front, what I'm gonna do is when winter comes and it starts getting cold, I'll build me a little deck right here on the front and just cap it in. And then put one hole on this side where they gotta go in and then go through that wall. I'm not even gonna insulate that. I'm just gonna cap it with a wind can cause that's so insulated, man. It's like an igloo cooler, man. You know, uh, and that way the wind can't really cut in there to them and they can get in and out of the wind. I think I'll be good. Good, uh, if I make them like this for all winter, I won't have to bring none of the dogs in the barn, the older dogs anyway. I mean, they don't get that damn cold. I mean, if these houses are working in Canada and fucking Michigan and shit, <laughs> I think it can handle South Alabama. But, um, yeah, I, you know, I just use what I get. I just get a bunch of scraps and put them together and seal them all up. But right now, another trick I do with my houses is I, I spray them. I spray them with a residual bug spray, whatever you can get that has a good residual before I even put them out. Underneath, under everything, um, fucking in between the layers of the roof and I, I'll dampen it down with it in the walls, everything before I put the thing in and let it dry and, and I spray them out. And it seems to really help. You know, everyone's asking me about fleas stuff too. Uh, you know, let's talk a little bit about that uh, before we get on the video though. I want to do a big thanks. Let's hang out with uh, Wiggles. I got her back on in her condo slash tool shed. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, tool table. It's a great damn 10 foot table. You can put all kinds of shit on there. But uh, what I've been using lately, guys, is, uh, you know, what I, you got to use something to knock them down and to keep them down. And I've, I've been using the pet. I went back to the pet core. You're, you're, I try, you'll try everything. Eventually, your dogs are going to get used to a product. Now, Fripronel was the perfect for years. I used that shit on my yard for years. That's what's in the Termidor, uh, the, the, what I call the flea beater spray and all that, man. That was some good shit. But here's the trick, guys. Once your dog gets adapted to those sprays, and when they get adapted to Fipronil especially, you got a real problem. They're hard as fuck to kill then. So, I mean, I you got to go through the thing. Now, that I'm about to the point where I'm going to order, uh, I'm just going to order me a day. I have my vet order a case of uh, Comfortis for me, you know, and go through that with my yard. I mean, it's expensive, but hell, so is buying, you know, sprays all the time and going out here wasting your time and shit. The caps or, or the, I mean, the tablets, them Comfortis work, you know, you won't have a problem. I had, I have a few dogs on it now and you don't never get a flea on them. But when you start having problems and if the uh, Fipronel is not working for you, what I've been using is the little, it's a little Vipe, it's called Viper. That shit seems to kill the hell out of them. Um, Vipin works too, but it takes a long time. I mean, if you want to knock them down, I've been using the Viper. Right there, and that shit works. I mean, my my fleas here, permethrin don't kill them, uh, fipronel don't hurt them no more. I mean, none of that shit. People talk about neem oil, all that. Man, I have tried it. They just don't do nothing. I mean, and like flies, this stuff right here, it, it seems to work good on flies. Now, I don't know how long it'll work, but uh, it's good for puppies 10 weeks and older. It says cats and kittens 12 weeks and older. So it won't even hurt a cat. It's a, uh, there's your... Let me get your main ingredients for you guys, you chemists out there. That's your ingredients. So, I mean, and it seems to have a, now that they've, they've changed it, it's different than the old one that I was using. They, they got, the old one wasn't working. The regular pet core, the green one, uh, it got to where it wasn't working. I said, fuck it, I'm going to try it again before I go shell out $500 on it. And two bottles of do my yard one time after spraying with a viper. Thank God, knock on wood, we ain't had another rain in a while. A day, a half a day, we ain't rain. So, and for two days, I ain't had no problem except on one dog, I had to hit him again. Um, I ain't seen none in the houses, you know. So, but you got to spray the houses out. You got to spray under the houses, the chain out, your walk areas, your everything to kill them. All right, that's your tip. But this is it, it's this is when what I'm saying is if you got them that's 
the other stuff ain't touching this seems to be working seems to be that's the key word here seems to be you know what i'm saying um but anyway i want to give a huge thanks to the guys in um in florida and georgia but my boys down in florida for getting wiggles bread i mean it's a lot of you got to have a team sometimes you know and uh, i want to give a big thanks to all you guys down there man uh over time oh ty you know jeff Rowe, four walls all you guys sure boy all you guys for making it possible to make that breeding happen man i, I truly fucking appreciate it and of course georgia uh georgia brad and uh barbie and of course fat bill um you know mike dam coming down to two and and sean and all let's get to getting the cherry breeding done and uh you know we got the other my angel bitches over there too now so i'm getting some some pretty uh good bitches up underneath him i feel like what i'm doing now is i'm breeding my my stock the way i want it to go back into buster i mean i had some comments and all and and some people take things the wrong way you know, i'm not saying you got to go out in your dogs you if you got you want to breed your dogs line breed and pure breed them that's fine that's it's the, the beauty of the game that's the beauty of breeding dogs you can breed your dogs how you want and i'll breed my dogs how i want I'm setting my yard up with the with the strains that I know are going to click together throughout time. I've seen them click together, seen the dogs, had dogs that bred like that. Just like these right here, these Jeep Red Boy Rascal over this gain stuff. That's a, I went, I waited. I knew I wanted to do that for years. I wanted to put them two families together. You see what I'm saying? I waited until guys that I trusted had one that says, hey, this is the one. You know what I mean? When O told me, hey, man, this is this is it. This is, this is lined up if you want to do it. And I was like, hell yeah. You know what I mean? But it wasn't something I just went out and did because I was chasing. I wanted to have Jeep Red Boy Rascal went out. No. And just like with, when I went with the bread with uh, with Bill and them. Man, that dog, look. I, <laughs> that dog is bred outstanding. It's one of the best dogs. And the, here's the key. This is what I'm trying to say. I don't give a shit about the breeding them tight and all that, like paperwork. I... People are, I've had comments how well Cherry's bred. They're all bred good. All my dogs are bred good, outstanding. Uh, I, just, I, I don't not say that good papers don't matter. Good dogs don't matter. You have to have the best. You have to have the best dogs in, in, your, in your dogs. That's, but what I'm saying is just like what I proved. I mean, I could have went back into that family and made more, but I want to add to mine a certain trait that that damn killer dog and that blood right there is consistently throwing that ain't no fucking walmart eli blood that's the that's the that's the best of it you know what i mean that's the it, that is i mean if you want to get it that close and that good and that pure and that clean and that honest that dog's bred honest all the way through there ain't no question marks in that motherfucker and that dog's a hell of a bulldog what the hell <laughs> I mean, it's stupid not to Plus, you know, them boys in Georgia are keeping him going. Georgia Brad is putting, there ain't no telling how much money old Brad's putting in that dog every week. There ain't. I'm telling you, I, he don't even keep up with it. And this is the thing. Like I say, you got to breed the best representatives and the best of them, those individuals. You know what I mean? That dog's old. He ain't going to be producing forever. I mean, everyone's talking about, well, he's open for stud. I've seen some comments like, man. When it's all said and done, see who's got dogs off of him. That's all I'm saying. And I know this. Other than I'd like to see Mr. Bill get the money and, and the boys in Georgia get him bred up to what they want. But other than that, other and I don't think even Bill gives a shit about the money as much as him getting bred to good bitches and good people. Like I said, it's the people, not the dogs so much. It's like people that put them together. You're gonna if the people are good and, and everything's clean with air program you know and they're keeping all their shit honest through there you're going to have good dogs and that's how it works out i mean that's how it works out in these dogs there's different levels of this shit you know i mean there there truly is different levels to it i mean and and that's what i mean bloodline's not as important as the individuals uh if there's plenty of eli dogs out there that i wouldn't even look at twice you see what i'm saying but then you got eli or however you want to call it I, it's more you pet heads out there, look at that dog. That dog's Blind Billy, which is off of who? The Dibo dog. I mean, and it's clean. So that's how you make your foundation is go back to the best bred dogs that you like. Like them red dogs. I wanted the 
bring my percentages up of real devastating mouth. Them dogs have a lot going for them. They have a lot of shit I don't like. I ain't gonna lie. They got a lot of shit going for them I don't like. But they have a lot of good quality traits. And I want to bring... I'm not saying they can't bite. I'm not... Don't, I don't want to get a bunch of emails about that shit and all that. I know there's some that bite. I got a couple of some bites. But as a whole, it ain't going to hurt to put more mouth in them. And as a whole, that's what that, that blood does. That dick blood is... He's a heavy, heavy bred dick dog. And he's probably the heaviest one in the country alive producing. You know, that shit produces hell of mouth. And I mean, I know that from all kinds of old timers that <laughs> have, have seen them dogs down the pike, you know. Um, and that's that's how you do it. Just like when I bred Angel back to him. Think about that now. That's all that is. Eli Cor Eli Carver with a quarter turtle buster, heavy on the Eli. I mean, that's my my future stock. I'm going back into my buster dog with. You know, that's the plan. If them dogs turn out good, the best ones are going to go back into my frozen. That's the program. You know, it ain't that I ain't breeding Buster. It's I'm waiting on what. I'm not jumping out and just breeding him to any bitch. I have right now. I have my eye on two bitches that I that are, are contenders to go back to Frozen, um, and they're granddaughters of his, and they're excellent bitches that I'm I'm just watching mature a little a bit longer. Uh, you know, maybe a couple more years before I decide it. You know, it ain't no hurry. But that's how serious I'm about bringing the best stock of them back together. You know. And like with Rusty, them them dogs, I got them just how I want to go back into them with, you know. And it's just like like I was saying, with the, when it's all said and done, see who actually breeds to them dogs. It's like the Reverend dog. I've had a lot of people asking me, is he open for stud and all this. I recommended one person to that dog. One person. I'm not kicking rocks to them guys. are my friends. Been my friends for a long time. I'm not wasting their time. They're serious and their dog ain't open to stud. I mean, it's not like that. They don't give a shit about the money. They got something else on mind. They're here to get dirty. They want good catch dogs, you know, and uh, that's that's how it is. And I would, I would very, they're not as far as like Bill's dog being, you can get, you can call them, maybe you can work something out. There's a lot of spokes in that wheel now, you know. Just got thing, but he ain't gonna kick rocks with you neither. If your bitch ain't no good, he ain't gonna fuck with you. If you ain't no good, he ain't gonna fuck with you. At the end of the day, when people are serious and when they ain't, there's a lot, lot involved in it. A lot of money involved. And breeding them that was a huge investment for me to get these dogs bred and a lot of folks involved you know so yeah at the end of the day y'all just sit back and make your comments or whatever you want you know but i assure you when it all the smoke clears you know what'll be standing there proud <laughs> you know what i'm saying i ain't gotta brag i'm show you motherfuckers you know i don't care about no phenotypes none of that crap i've seen that program I'm, cherry's bred the way she is Angels bred the way they all bred good. I ain't got a dog in my yard that ain't bred outstanding. Not one. Not one fucking dog. <laughs> so, I don't give a shit about that. I'm going to breed back to the dogs that I think is going to make me them fucking ones that last forever. You know. But y'all take care. Y'all keep on bulldogging. I just wanted to give a big thanks to those guys. We've been waiting on those breedings for a long time. And, uh, and it just kind of all falls in place at once sometimes. You know, y'all take care and y'all keep on bulldogging.